hey guys welcome back and in this video we will see how you can integrate your view project or view components in your Django project there are many methods to do this but this is also one of the way by CLI you can also do this by webpack installation etc so this is a whole lot of code if I try to code it all in one video then it would have been a very long video that's why now I'm going over the code and explaining how things are working and how uh, we are integrating both Django and Vue. So first of all what you have to do is just make a virtual environment. You can see here you have your virtual environment and activate it in from the scripts and now what you have to do is just make your Django project a normal Django project and after you have made your Django project in the same directory uh, that temp uh, the structure would look like this uh, in the same directory as the virtual environment because uh, if we make a folder, separate folder for this uh, then it becomes very confusing now you have to make a another or you can make another uh, app Django app games after you have made this games games or whatever you want this is up to you and you have to register it on the settings.py after you have registered in on the settings.py what you have to do is just include the URLs like uh, game URLs or app URLs here and also include the URLs here what we are going to use and after that you have to make two new folders a static and template after you have made uh, these two folders in our normal Django project we always make these folders static for our static files and templates for our Django templates and uh, after that we are going to make a view project now the view project have uh, this, this file uh, view config js what you have to do is just modify this file so that it runs on the same path as the Django the URL and uh, the in the and the output dir should be static and the index path will be this because uh, this is the file that we are going to make in our uh, index.html but Django, Django should be able to access it that's why we are going to make it regenerate to uh, as a name base underscore view.html in templates this file will be generated as soon as we run our uh, view project like this file this is our base uh, underscore view dot html here you can see that uh, our j base dot html is just a normal html page uh, you can see just have a header href tags and etc and if we go to our base underscore view it extends the base dot html so here we can see that the super block super represents the data from the parent like base dot html because this is the parent of this uh, view dot html and uh, here the title would be coming from the parent which will be this block this whole block and the block title will be changed whenever we are going to on the other pages like uh, home then the title will be changed uh, this is I think for the body and uh, now if we go to the math underscore game dot html then there will be math and here we can see that we have another block which is the body block and here we have our header our tags uh, basically a nav bar and this nav bar is block main yes this is main this is body block main dot body uh, dot main block body okay 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 so this block is for the main for the body and this is uh, for the, our whole body you can say it includes the main so now whenever we are in our block body then this block super is going to uh, yeah, include all this stuff like main uh, block <coughs> because our body is included and this will also be included in it and main block will have the content 
and the content will be going to be a home or something like this h1 tag is going to be our main under main block so this is how the data is being fetched from the parent and after that we can see that we have made a uh, changes to our index.html and this is the exact copy of the index.html and this will be replicated to the templates based underscore html whenever we run our uh, view project so here you can see that uh, we have an app uh, uh, id with app because we know that we are going to our main.js and mount the app so here are few other things which we will go through in just a minute and let me see yes uh, we have covered it and yes the whole app will be mounted here for example if we go to our math uh, uh, math score games html then we can see uh, the title of this uh, will be math and uh, because the math is under under the head block and super will be calling it because obviously it is a title and in our base.html we can see that here is our head block okay and the main body will be having its name now this super will be the main and the dev id app here is our component is going to be loaded but our components we have we have our components uh, anagram and math so we will see that in our components we have a normal template which will be going to be loaded in this uh, where it is base underscore view dot html in this id app okay so this is a normal you can say two input tags and a button and these are these are view bound uh, view bounded to our data username and score so here v model v model score and click here we are bounded our click method and if we go to our urls dot pi then obviously we are going to see that we have a few URLs and these URLs uh, normally we use it like this uh, we just name our function and which will be called in our Django project but now what we'll be doing is just including uh, all these views from our view files for example if you go to the uh, go to the view.py then we can see here are all our views and uh, this home view is returning home, math will be returning math, anagram will be returning anagram and this is just for checking that will which function is going to be called first for uh, you can say just checking you cannot if you want to you, you can dispatch of it and now if we go to our URLs all these all these views are being imported and as view you can name them and here we can see that our record score is used normally because when we are going to record our score it is going to be called in our JSON response and if we go to our base dot uh, anagram anagram yes uh, in our anagram we will see that we have username score and we have a record score record score method will be called when we click on this this is just an Ajax and before using the Ajax what you have to do is just import it and use it and the app will be created this is just for the uh, CRFS token CSRF token and uh, you will be using a router and uh, Ajax and the app will be mounted so uh, let's first of all see routers so uh, we have two components anagram component math component and we will be importing our router and uh, here just making paths and then exporting default router okay then this router will be used and in our view app uh, app view we will say that in our template change the data according to the router view because we have to uh, use a template and then the data will be changed as our router goes through these components so this uh, where was our yes this is a simple and here you can see that 
username will be like this username and game will be on which page we are obviously if you are on the anagram page then obviously it is going to be anagram and here you can see that in our ajax we can go to it will go to the record score which is going to be in our views.py and in our urls here included our urls and now we can see in our record score url we have this this will just load the request and in the username we'll have username and all the things and in the objects uh, game score object now what is game score object this was a model that we made here uh, this model will have a, a tuple you can say and uh, choices because either it is going to be a math or an anagram then in our text field we are going to say that these two choices are available okay and by default we are going to just pass it anything and after this model is registered you can you are going to register it on the admin this like this importing from models game score admin and after that uh, where were we yes and uh, here you can just make an object of game score object create and save it and returning the response success true to see if the things were correctly now after all of this is done what we want to do is obviously show our records to show our records we have another urls.py uh, in our urls.py we have game scores so this will also return the view and the view will be on the template game score.html we are going to return this function can be named anything and now our uh, our components will be given the data like uh, anagram score math score and we'll filter it and by order score uh, this is just a filter you can use it any way you want now if we go our go to our game underscore dot html here you can see that in our math scores we will have a for loop and which will give us score and username and the score created at and same with the anagram score so that's it I think we missed something and this should be done before all of this could have done and this was just registering your static files here and uh, here your template so this is it and whenever we are going to be uh, loading first of all our uh, base template is going to be loaded for example if our base template this is our base template and whenever we are going to run our django project we are should run our node project or new project as well they both will be running on the same page this whole thing will be run by the django project because this will have all the super super will be representing the parent because these are extending the paste.html and here the view components will be loaded in our div app because we have mounted it into our app id in our view main.js main.js mounted in into our app so that was it